Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look. This is going to be my first holiday makeup tutorial of the season. This is something that you could pretty much wear from day and go into night with this. It's simple, it's soft, and I add a little bit of flair with this red lip and this winged eyeliner. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get right into the tutorial. Okay guys, so for my skincare, what I did today is I went in with the Rodeal B Venom Super Serum. I put that all over my face. Then I, um, for my eyes, I went in with the Rodeal SPF 15 Glam Tox Eye Cream. And then for my face moisturizer, I went in with the Rodeal B Venom Moisturizer. And then for my eye cream, um, which I really, really love this eye cream, is the Rodeal B Venom Eye Cream. And this I've been using every day. I mean, it's just awesome. It has like all these great peptides in it and also helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles around the eye which I love. So I'm going in with, I'm beginning with my Smashbox 24 hour photo finish eyeshadow primer. Um, I love this eye primer, one of my fave eye primers. Once I'm done with everything in my professional kit, I will be transferring my other eye primers to the Smashbox one because this is just amazing. So a few weeks ago, I picked up two eyeshadow palettes from Tarte and this one is the Showstopper Clay Palette. <clears throat> I mentioned it on my Instagram. And I want to use these today so you guys see. These are awesome palettes. I might give you a full review on these. I'm not sure yet. Um, but this is what the inside of it looks like. And it has all your eyeshadows. Plus, you get a blush, highlighter, and the bronzer. So I think that, to me, this is so nice. So if you're looking for a new palette or not sure where to begin, but you want something nice, I would totally recommend going in with this palette. It's excellent for everyday use. And it's also excellent for when you're going out. Now, you guys know I use mainly, I use our, my Sigma brushes. If you guys want to know all about the brushes that I love and what I use, I'll put a link down below to take you to my review of all my favorite makeup brushes. So I'm going in with an E50 brush, and I'm going to start with this lighter shade right here. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. Then I'm going to take this neutral tone shade right here and I'm gonna put that in the crease. And I'll be using my E40 brush to do that. Then with my ring finger, I'm going to take this nice shade right here. And I'm gonna take the tapered E45 brush and I'm gonna go in with this deeper shade right here. And I'm going to apply that right in the dip of my crease, right in here. I'm going to do a little bit of a winged eyeliner. I typically don't do winged eyeliners, but you know what? The holidays are here, and this is something that I'd like to incorporate and um, show you guys how nice and easy it is to do it. I'm going to go in with the Tarte Tartlet Clay Paint Liner, and then I'm also going to go in with this brush that I picked up from Tarte. It's excellent because it has this slant to it, and this is going to make you doing any type of winged eyeliner so easy. Now I'm gonna go in with L'Oreal Voluminous Collagen Mascara, and then I'll go in with my lashes. Okay, so today I'm going in with the Temptress Wispy Lashes. Very pretty from House of Lashes. I'm gonna measure them first to see how I like the way they fit. Okay, so I got the lashes on. Had a little bit of a malfunction because the black glue was no good. Anyway. So now for my face, I'm going to go in with the Dior Nude Air Serum. You guys know I love this so much. So I'm going to put this all over my face. I'm going to wait for my lash glue to dry, perm you know, all together. And then I'll go in and maybe I'll touch it up a little bit where the eyeliner is. Blend in this foundation. I'm going to go in with my favorite brush to do this with, which is the Sigma Round Kabuki F82. This is in the shade 021 tapping it in to my skin now. A little bit full of coverage. Concealer, I'm gonna go in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in the shade Medium Custard. I have actually a full review on this concealer. I'll put a link down below so you guys can check it out if you're interested in purchasing it, but it really is a great concealer. 
So I just let it dry for a little bit. My MAC Prep and Prime um, Highlighter and Light Boost. And taking the Soft Blend Concealer Brush from Sigma, I'm gonna blend this in, tapping it. You can also use your ring finger if you'd like. You don't have to go in with this brush. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. It's a little thick, so a little bit goes a long way. Go back in with that concealer brush. Now I'm going to take the Bye Bye Pores um, Press Powder. You guys know I really love this for setting my under eye concealer. Again, I have a whole nother review on this one as well. And what you can do is take this little sponge that comes inside of it. I'm gonna really pack this on to set it, and then I'll dust it off. This is considered the baking method. I am gonna put a video together for all of you to see exactly you know, what baking really is. I mean, there's a lot of hype about it, but I'll go over all the details with all of you so that you guys get a little bit more familiar as to what it's really going to help and who it's going to be beneficial for. Brows today, I'm gonna to go in with the Benefit Give Me Brow. This is fantastic. This is excellent for someone that really doesn't wanna spend a lot of time on their eyebrows, and it basically gives it a little bit of color, and you just shape them, and they're good to go, and they'll stay in place all day. So now what I'm gonna do is, because this sat for a little bit, I'm just gonna dust it off. This is really gonna keep my concealer in place. I'm gonna go in with the bronzer from the palette, and with this Sigmax Precision Brush, I'm just gonna go in, and I'm gonna do a little contouring right here. Very pigmented, this bronzer. I'm just gonna buff that out. And for the blush, I'm gonna go with the blush that's in the palette right here. Now highlight using actually the highlighter that's in this palette as well. I'm gonna use that highlighter. I'm gonna highlight right underneath my brow bone. And for my lips, I'm gonna go in with this Pro Matte Lipstick from Patricia De Leon. And this is in the shade number 135 Raw. That's it, my loves. That completes the look.